fried chicken and donuts, federal donuts. At federal donuts in Philadelphia, the customers come for the donuts but stay for the fried chicken, which is twice fried. For the first fry the chicken is allowed to luxuriate in a vat of oil at a low temperature. For the second fry it's cooked in a fryer basket for a short time at a very high heat, creating what Chef Matthew Fine calls a teeth-shatteringly crispy exterior. Enjoy the chicken either with a chili garlic glaze or dusted with buttermilk ranch seasoning. Smoked Fried Chicken Sandwich, The People's Pig You'd think that with a name like The People's Pig, this Portland, Oregon, restaurant's biggest draw would be pork. But owner Cliff Allen says it's actually his chicken sandwich. The chicken is smoked over white oak for a short amount of time at high heat, the opposite of the usual slow and low method. Then the thighs are deboned, battered and fried. It's served on a house a made sourdough roll spread with spicy mayo and jalapeno jelly. Chicken and Biscuits, Watershed on Peachtree, at Atlanta's Watershed on Peachtree, an upscale farm-to-table restaurant co-owned by Emily Salers of the Indigo Girls, the chicken and biscuits are worth writing home about. The recipe belonged to Edna Lewis, and it's a three-day process worth every minute. The chicken is first brined, then soaked in buttermilk, then dredged in flour and cornstarch and finally shallow fried in pork fat scented with ham hocks and butter as executive chef Zeb Stevenson describes it. Fried Chicken and Waffles, Longman and Eagle, at Hotel Bar Longman and Eagle in Chicago, customers are pairing their Bloody Marys with the fried chicken and waffles, brined in a mixture of aromatics, rice wine vinegar and honey, the chicken is then coated in a seasoned flour mixture before being deep fried in beef fat. It's served atop a hash made with sweet potatoes and Berkshire pork belly, and waffles that include maple syrup in the batter. Fried Chicken, Martha Lou's Kitchen, No Frills, All Taste, That's What You Can Expect From Martha Lou's Kitchen in Charleston, SC, at this down-home restaurant. They serve up some of the best southern comfort food around. But it's Martha Lou Gadsden's fried chicken that brings customers in droves. She starts by seasoning the chicken in a blend of secret spices before dredging it in self-rising flour, then dipping it in milk and back in the flour for a second time, and finally frying it in peanut oil.